Hey, um, what's going on guys? Back at Brick, just finished shooting, uh, producing a package. Um, there's one of the shooters back there, Shem, he's doing his thing. Um, wow, it's been a while uh, producing something for the spot, but it happened, I did it. I did it, it's done. Uh, long day, very tired and hungry. Uh, definitely have to get some food. But there's Jordan, uh, Jordan, say hello. Um, I'm doing a vlog. This is vlogging, this is my life. He doesn't want to be a part of it, which is weird. Say, say hi to them. Hi. He's being shy now because I have no idea why. Just wrapped up the shoot. You were shooting gangsters? Is that what was happening? You were shooting gangsters. I don't need gangsters. I don't need to talk to you about. He he disclaims everything because I don't need gangsters. We're not shooting any gangsters. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> disclaimer, disclaimer. Well, the point is, is that we um, did a cool package, and we're done now. And now we're getting out of this building, and people are still here politicking. Um, but yeah, it was a dope shoot, dope day, stuff like that. We're here with the team, and there's Rebecca, Anita, and Christopher Hippo, and we're here uh, starting our challenge, our team challenge that you put us here on. Excited! <laughs> Alright, Anita, read Hi. the clue! Okay, wait. Oh, I have to keep opening it. Oh, it's an intricate thing. Oh my god, I've done this before. <laughs> oh. Escape the room, NYC! Escape the room, NYC! <laughs> Oh baby, I'm gonna be stuck oh, in a room oh, with all of these to, people, does anyone know how to solve and we're gonna have to figure it out. I don't. I've done never done this before. Do this is amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited. I, I am in a very special uh, scenario here. Um, there's no one in my home. I am here by myself, and um, me just kind of having the opportunity to kind of like sit down and see my home for what it is. It's just. I, there's a lot of aspects to where I live that, um, that kind of rub me the wrong way. And I, and I don't even know if it's rubbed me the wrong way, but it's, I don't feel inspired in my home anymore. Uh, I've been living at home for the past 28, about to be 29 years of my life. Um, the furthest or the closest instance of independence was college for me. And then after college, I came back home. And, you know, like, finding a job was rough and going through that whole transition from after college and trying to become an adult uh, really, uh, you know, it really, it was, it was a slow start. Uh, but now I feel like I'm in a better place. And I'm still here. And as I look around me, um, there's not much changes and it's not even a whole stigma of, oh my gosh, I'm almost 30, I'm still living at home. Because, you know, time and society has changed. This is not like the 90s where, you know, job opportunities were a little bit better and, you know, all that stuff. It's like, you know, there are people that are older than me that are still living at, the, at home or where the case may be. So for me, it's not even a matter of that. It's like, how do I rejuvenate my space to feel inspired to do what I love? And I don't know how. I just look around my home and everything is in a state of old, you know? Um, I mean, my parents, I mean, this is where I grew up. So to me, I'm looking at the same things that I was looking at when I was a kid. And it's, it just feels like I'm stuck in a time capsule. And like, I look around at my space, my room, and I don't even feel inspired to get any work done. Like before I'd be so excited to like come home and get work started and, and feel rejuvenated, but now that I look around, it's just like, I feel trapped. I feel trapped creatively, and physically, and emotionally, and it is, it's tough. It's tough, but it's not impossible to overcome. I am pushing through. Those are, I think, the two words that I'm carrying into next year. Gotta push through. Uh, but what I really wanna do, now that I have this opportunity that no one's around, because, to be honest, I don't feel inspired when my parents are here. I mean, I love them. I, I love the fact that they're here for me, but they just really make me feel like 
anything I try to suggest or try to implement is just going to be met with criticism. So um, it might seem small, but I want to change the out the layout of my room. Really simple and something that I could have done a long time ago. But as I said, being met with criticism with this, I I didn't I didn't feel inspired to. But now that no one's around, I can just do it and not have to worry about, oh my gosh, what are they going to say? Are they going to harass me? Why am I doing this? Like, I have my reasons. And I feel like if I just physically change this space, that I'll feel like things are beginning anew. And, uh, and that's important for me because this year, this year has been a lot in the sense of changes and new beginnings and chapters and all that stuff. And I, and I want, I want to feel inspired in my space again. I just want to feel like when I come to this home that I feel at home these days, I don't like when I step inside my house, yeah, I'm home, but I don't feel home. This doesn't feel like a home. And I guess, you know, working at this new company where, you know, the basis of everything is talking about, you know, therapy for the home apartment therapy and kind of just like, creating a better home experience, I look around at my home and I don't feel inspired anymore. And that's not a good thing. So I want to make some changes and I just want to probably spruce up. I mean, I'm giving you guys a look into my space, but I want to spruce things up. I just want to, I just want things to change. And I think that's the moral of that story. So, um, as I said, I know I've been kind of in and out with everything. Um, all the clips that you guys saw before was within the past week and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, uh, th this is pretty much it. I, uh, I'm probably just going to put out this vlog and, and then just see what next week has in store. I know, you know, right now the weekend hasn't even finished yet, but, um, it's going to be a pretty low key weekend, but yeah, I just want to get that off my chest. Um, yeah, so here's to hopefully new changes, new looks, new beginnings, just feeling rejuvenated in my own space and just trying to get something back, you know, just trying to get that fire back. That's really what it comes down to. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. I um, am about to go clean up and get my day started, but I hope you guys had a good weekend by the time you guys watch this. Um, and yeah. See you guys next time. Fade out.